It was really great to hear Alex talk about the importance of wagering properly before today's game. And little did he know, we have a really tricky situation in today's final wager. For the second night in a row, Varun is trailing heading into Final Jeopardy. This time he's sandwiched between two ladies. Jenna, one of the challengers in the lead with 11,400, and Mary in third place with 4,600. We'll start with Varun and Jenna. Varun doubles up. He's going to have 13,600. Therefore, Jenna will want to wager at least 2,200. If she gets it wrong with that wager, she's going to have 9,200. So both players are going to have to get it right if they want to have a chance to win. Varun, 9,200. We'll need to wager at least 2,400. That's his minimum. And Mary will have to double up. Now, this should be a warning sign. Because Mary can't wager more than 4,600. And since that's her minimum, she has to wager 4,600. I put the exclamation point that says she has to do that. Varun, to cover her, we'll need to wager 2,400 again because that'll get him up to 9,200. So interesting. <clears throat> we have a wager to tie scenario because first equals second plus third. One of those classic situations I told you to memorize in part four of my tutorial. And here it is. Interestingly enough, I thought we were going to have a daily double to end this round, but we never found it. So we didn't even need a penultimate wager for this. Now, rule number four says that if someone's forced into a wager, you want to reevaluate what you're going to do. If Mary doubles up, she's going to have 4,600. Gives her 9,200. It's exactly 2,200 less than what Jenna has. That means she can wager no more than that. She has to wager at least 2,200 and no more than 2,200. Therefore, she has to wager 2,200. Now we look at Varun. Varun has to get it right, first of all. So, really there's no reason for him not to wager everything anyway. But, since Jenna's probably going to wager to tie if she knows what she's doing, Varun if he wagers everything and gets it right and Jenna wagers properly and gets it right they'll be tied. So that becomes questionable and he really should wager everything. Because as I said, he has to get it right, and there's no real point in going for a second when you have such a good chance of winning if Jenna is savvy. The way it worked out, Mary wagered properly, 4,600. Varun went to beat Jenna by a dollar. I understand why he did that, but really, trying to play for second in some way, it doesn't really make sense. Jenna, unfortunately, added that extra dollar didn't matter in the end, she got it wrong, Varun won. But what would happen if Varun got it right, uh, sorry, Varun got it wrong, Mary got it right, and Jenna got it wrong? Well, you'd have Mary at 9200, you'd have Varun at uh, 2199. And you'd have Jenna at $91.99, which you'll see loses to that by a dollar. Not worth the risk. We had a great streak of wagering the past few days, and it's really sad to see it end like this. Varun's been in third, and he's been in second. Will he be in first going into tomorrow's final? We'll find out. And we'll see how he does on the final wager.